Hey there! If you've recently gotten started in having your own online business as an entrepreneur, then a huge congratulations to you. It's an awesome step to have taken and kudos to you for taking that step. Now, you probably would have heard that there are a number of mistakes that entrepreneurs make, particularly when they are getting started. So in the interest of helping you not to make those mistakes, I like to share the top 10 with you. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Melanie Weber and my channel is all about helping you achieve the lifestyle and the income in order to be able to live your greatest life, your life to the greatest potential. So if that's of interest, then please consider subscribing. Now, so let's get started on the common mistakes that entrepreneurs, as I say, particularly when they are starting out, so where you are at. So the first of these is absorbing content and not taking any action. So particularly if you are new to online marketing, as I was when I got started, you feel as though you just have to read every single training element that there is out there, participate in every webinar, every training session that's on you are signing up for. Yeah, it's all well and good doing the training, and but there is an element of training overload, or there certainly can be, particularly if you are not actually implementing the training that you are absorbing. So recommendation is, yes, learn enough to get you by for starters, but the best way for you to learn something is to, yes, absorb it first, but then immediately put it into action. So either teach it, do a video or share it with someone else just to cement in what you have actually read or what you have watched. So don't get stuck in that absorbing or that consumer mode. Make sure that you actually take action, become a creator of content. Number two is being a perfectionist. So when it's your own business, of course you want everything to go as well as it possibly can. You wouldn't be in business for yourself if you wanted it otherwise. But any same as anything in life, not everything can be perfect all the time. So apply the 80-20 rule of 80, sometimes 80% 80 of the time things are going really great and are, are on point and the other 20% just don't save yourself the stress just don't worry about it. your business will be okay with it not being a hundred percent now the very fact that you have started a business for yourself which isn't does kind of goes against the grain of of mainstream society obviously shows that you are willing you've got your own mind and you're willing to take action despite what potentially other people are thinking. So number three is all about not caring what everyone thinks about you and what you're doing. Yes, listen to the voices in your head or the voices around you which are bringing you up and encouraging you in your endeavors, but there will always be haters. There will always be people who will knock you and say what you're doing is crazy and, oh, they know someone who tried that and it was no good. Yeah, that's fine. That's their opinion. They're entitled to it. But so long as you don't let that negativity affect, affect you and your success, then they can continue on thinking what they want. So don't listen to what absolutely everyone says. And I guess just word of warning, not everyone is going to like you. That's just life. But so long as you're true to yourself, then that's all that matters. Number four is living the huge successful lifestyle too early. So yes, you will get there in time you certainly will so long as you put in the work you're consistent yes you will get there one day but you you can't have that lifestyle right now or you can't live that lifestyle until you actually earn it so as i say it will come one day but for now live within your means or even better to save yourself some cash to put into your business live below your means for a while make some sacrifices that you can live with to get you to that that better end game in the long run number five is being impatient and quitting early you may have already heard that so many people could have been successful and they were virtually on the brink of having great success when they quit they didn't realize just how close they were to success and, and they threw in the towel. They just said, oh, it's, it's just all too hard. I'm not getting the results that I wanted by this point, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna quit. Hang in there, hang in there. As the old adage says, good things come to those who wait. So I believe that good things come to those who wait and work hard for it. 
So if you're putting in their hard yards, I guarantee success is just around the corner. Just hold in there long enough. Just hang in there and it certainly will be yours. And number six is closely related to, to, to five in that number six is not being true to your why. So in starting your, your business and be, becoming an entrepreneur, you, you would have done some soul searching, dug real deep within yourself to understand why is it that you want to have this lifestyle or, or take this path in your life? Why is it? What's motivating you and driving you towards that? And so you stay true to that. Yes, it, it will probably change throughout the course of, of your your journey and, and having your business. And, and that's okay. That's the same just like anything in life. It is, it is open to change. But it stays true to it. And when you are in those tough times of having a business, which we all have, it will really see you through the tough times. It will make you, yes, want to get out of bed still in the morning and turn on that computer and get into the trenches and work. So stay true to your why. Number seven is about taking accountability. Being your business, you are the one who needs to do this. So when you were an employee, uh, you potentially had the opportunity, not that I'm encouraging this by any means, but you could have fought can fob things off to other people or blame other people and, and possibly get away with it. When it's your own business, you need to act with integrity and you need to stand by your brand and stand by what you stand for. So if you make a mistake, if you botch something up, you need to be the first person to put your hand up, say, look, I made a mistake. I wasn't 100%. I must apologize and do whatever you can to make amends for that mistake that you have made. There's there's no one behind you that you can turn to and say, look, can you fix this up for me? You are it. <laughs> so if you don't act with integrity, then people are not going to want to do business with you. So that's, that's just a fact of life. So make sure that you do take up accountability for when you do, um, when things aren't going so well. Number eight is all about recognizing or, or identifying when you need help. <laughs> so being a business for yourself, you are the CEO, the marketing manager. If you've got people who are doing some work for you, then you're the HR manager, you're the finance manager, the administration manager, you are everything all uh, in under the one umbrella. So can you, are you the one and the only one to ever get everything done? Well, perhaps not. And so, for example, if, you, if you've got a campaign that you need to get out ASAP and you are not the greatest at creating sales funnels, perhaps, then isn't it a better use of your time and money to pay someone to put together a sales funnel whilst you concentrate on something else? Definitely. So ensure that you recognize early on when you are needing help. And, and make sure that you use your time productively to move your business forward. What is going to be in the best interest of your business? Is it spending time Googling and, and trying to fumble your way through making a sales funnel or is it actually paying someone else to do it and you spend your efforts elsewhere? Number nine is about developing yourself. So the fact of the matter is if you do not grow yourself, then your business will not grow you are your business's greatest asset. So what is between your ears up here is its greatest asset. So you need to develop yourself as much as you can through through reading, through learning, through uh, seeking advice and, and counsel from other people in the know. You need to develop yourself in order for your business to be successful and your business to grow. Number 10 is all about expressing gratitude, showing gratitude on a regular basis, if not daily basis. So this is the habit of every single successful entrepreneur you can possibly think of. Gratitude for what you already have is ever so powerful. And if you know anything about the law of attraction, you would know that this is an absolute must to be successful in your life, in your personal life, as well as in your business life. And if you'd like to check out a quick video about the benefits of gratitude, then check out mine that I put together not so long ago, which you'll find the link up here. So there you go. There's the 10 tips I have for you in starting off as an entrepreneur, all in the interest of hoping that you won't fall into those pitfalls. 
But if you do, then hello, you are human, it's totally okay. So long as you recognize what you've done and you move forward, then your business will be successful. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it has been of value to you. If you have learned something from it, then please do stick it down in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. So until I see you on my next video, I certainly do hope that you take the greatest care.